hi guys today i am going to explain this beautiful granny square hat for this project i am using red hot super saver yarn perfect pink color and i am using h5mm hook for this project make slip knot chain 4 One, two, three, four. Okay, slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. If you want, you can create a magic circle. Now chain three, seven double crochet inside the ring. Okay, so this is the first double crochet I am making. So one. And chain three considers one double crochet, so totally eight double crochets. So now fourth double crochet, fifth double crochet, sixth double crochet, seventh double crochet, and eighth double crochet. So we have completed first round slip stitch. to join the third chain of the initial three chains so we have completed now chain 3 so this is row 2 chain 3 double crochet in the same stitch and then chain 1 in the next stitch two double crochet One, two, then chain one. The next stitch, two double crochet. One, two, chain one. So you have to continue with the same pattern. Every stitch you have to make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one. This hat will be suit for five to six years girls. Okay, so if you want, you can make the same hat for babies also by using a small size hook. Okay, um, chain one and then two double crochet again. So you have to proceed with the same pattern. So two double crochet. Okay, chain one, two double crochet. Chain one. Two double crochet, chain one. Now two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So totally sixteen double crochet in this row. Slip stitch to finish this row. Okay, so second round completed. Now again one more slip stitch. Another slip stitch. last slip stitch so you have to make the slip stitch till this space now chain 3 make two double crochet in the same space so 1 2 chain 1 then in the next space make three double crochet 1 2 3 chain 1 so you have to uh, continue with the same every space you have to make a three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one till the end of this row so you have to continue the same in every space till the end of this row here so i have completed now i am going to make a slip stitch to finish this round so now you are going to make a three times slip stitch so slip stitch slip stitch and slip stitch in this space okay now chain 3 two double crochet in the same space 1 2 so chain 
in the next space three double crochet two three chain one next space three double crochet one two this is fourth row okay three chain one you have to continue the same every space you have to make a three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one so you have to continue the same till the end of this row so i have completed row four now i am going to finish it off this round by making a slip stitch till the space you have to make a slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch okay slip stitch now row 5 okay chain 3 two double crochet in the same space now in this row you have to make a chain 2 instead of chain 1 you have to make a chain 2 this is an increasing row so three double crochet two three chain two then three double crochet in the next space one two three chain two and then three double crochet in the next space so you have to continue the same pattern three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two till the end of this row okay three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two till here so now we are going to complete the row five by making a slip stitch okay chain one i already made so again one more chain then make one slip stitch till the space last slip stitch okay now chain 3 make double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet so chain 3 considered as 1 double crochet so totally 2 double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet okay and then chain 1 and then in the next space make 2 double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet this is an increase round okay so 2 double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet chain 1 then in the next space 2 double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet 2 chain 1 2 double crochet chain 1 ok so you, this is the increase round you have to proceed with the same past pattern 2 double crochet chain 1 2 double crochet chain 1 till the end of this row so i have completed now chain one make a slip stitch to finish this round we have completed six rounds okay totally so again one more slip stitch again last slip stitch in the space so we will start with this space chain three make two double crochet in the same space one two this is row seven okay and then chain one in the next space make three double crochet two three chain one in the next space make three double crochet one two three chain one in the next space make three double crochet so every chain one space you have to make a three double crochet chain one for this row okay so row five and row five and row six row 6 we have increased okay now row 7 it's a normal pattern 3 double crochet chain 1 3 double so i have completed row 7 now so chain 1 and make a slip stitch to finish this row okay and then two more slip stitches in the stitches so one and then again one slip stitch then slip stitch okay this is row 8 so chain three, 
two double crochet in the same space so here after no more increase okay so three double crochet chain one and then in the next space three double crochet chain one two and three okay chain one the next space three double crochet chain one so you have to proceed with the same pattern okay so uh, three double crochet chain one then three double crochet chain one this is the eighth row so continue the same pattern three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one till the end of this row three double crochet chain one okay so if you are working this hat for uh, adult size means you that's increase on row six right that you have to make after this row one row you have to make increase and base around here we, we made eight double crochet right here you have to make a 12 or 16 based on the head size you can make and then that increase rows row six the same row you have to make after row eight one row ninth row you have to increase row same row but now you have to proceed with the same pattern three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one in every space till the end of this I mean whatever length you want you can do but if you want small border then you have to complete 14 rows if you want big border you have to complete 12 rows okay first I will show you a uh, big border design so this is the one I, I am going to explain you first so I have completed 12 rows so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 12 rows I have completed okay so after this I am going to uh, make a chain one slip stitch to finish this is the 12th row okay so I am going to finish the 12th row now chain one single crochet in the same stitch so this is the 13th row so in every stitch you have to make a single crochet so single crochet and then single crochet but in the next space you have to make two single crochet so one and two and in next three stitches you have to make three single crochet so one two three okay and then the next space make two single crochet so three uh, single crochet in three stitches two single crochet in the space three single crochet in the three stitches two single crochet in the space this row you have to uh, continue with the same pattern till the end of this row so single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet so this is the design so continue making single crochet in the stitches and space till the end of this row here so I have completed okay row, row 13 now in the space make two single crochet then slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this row now chain one in the same stitch previous row single crochet is there right here in the same stitch you have to make a front post double crochet like this front post double crochet and then in the next stitch make a back post double crochet okay and then in the next stitch make a front post double crochet make a back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet so in the every single crochet you have to make a front post back post front post back post
see you have to continue the same pattern front post back post front post back post till the end of this row here okay now we have to complete this row this is a 14th row right so you have to complete by making a slip stitch in the chain 1 now row 15 chain 1 make front post double crochet in the previous front post here you can take like this and then you have to insert the hook in the space here make a front post double crochet and then in the next stitch that means next back post double crochet you have to make a previous back post in the back post double crochet then previous front post you have to make a front post double crochet so back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet then front post double crochet so you have to continue the same pattern and you have to uh, I complete this is the second row right so border so you have to three more rows you have to make so totally five rows you have to make this same pattern so 12 plus 1 13 then this one 5 so totally 18 rows you have to complete after this till the end of this row here okay and then proceed now I have completed 18 rows totally you can see 5 rows borders I have completed okay you can see clearly 5 rows I have completed one single crochet and then 5 rows for 5 1 single crochet 1 13 and then plus 5 14 15 16 18 so 18 rows I have completed okay now I am going to finish it off this 18th round by making a slip stitch chain 1 single crochet in the same stitch chain 3 2 double crochet in the same stitch so 1 and 2 then skip 2 stitches in the third stitch make a single crochet chain 3 2 double crochet in the same stitch skip 2 stitches in the third stitch make a single crochet then chain 3 make 2 double crochet ok then skip 2 stitches in the third stitch make a single crochet chain 3 2 double crochet skip 2 stitches make a single crochet so you have to continue the same pattern single crochet chain 3 2 double crochet single crochet by skipping 2 2 stitches see here this is the design of the border it will look very nice for this hat so to skip two stitches make a single crochet again then chain three two double crochet so you have to continue the same pattern till the end of this row here now this is the 19th row okay so skip 2 stitches make a single crochet in the make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to complete this row so chain 1 you can cut the yarn so we have finished the hat now so this is the design big border and it will look very nice 
for the girls from the top we have started here and you can count it 19 rows we have completed so single crochet and then border okay okay this is the overall design of the hat and i attached the flower okay this flower tutorial i have the link given in the description so you can refer the link and make this flower you can join the hat like this it will looks too good okay and i am using the button in the center of the flower you can see clearly so this is the another design okay small size border i will explain you so after completing 14 rows okay we have to complete the same pattern for 14 rows right three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one so uh, after completing 14 rows this is the design so after 14 rows 15th row you have to make a single crochet and uh, 16 17 18 you have to make a front post back post row so this is a 19th row so uh, slip stitch to finish the 18th round now chain 3 make 4 double crochet in the same stitch so chain 3 considers 1 double crochet to totally 5 double crochet in the same stitch this is a shell now i am going to skip three stitches so skip three stitches or in the fourth stitch make a five double crochet two three four and five then skip three stitches make five double crochet so you have to proceed the same so there is a little difference on that design we have completed 12 rows plus one single crochet and five front post back post row this design you have to complete 14 rows after 14 rows 15th row single crochet 16 17 18 front post back post this is the 19th row there is a little changes in the both hats okay but this is also look so nice so see this is the design now I am going to skip three stitches make a five double crochet in the fourth stitch two three four and five so you have to continue the same pattern till the end of this row so I have completed now I am going to finish it off this round by making the last shell after skipping three stitches make 5 double crochet one two three four five then last you have you can skip two stitches okay and then make a sing, uh, slip stitch in the third chain to finish the 19th row so both row you have to work on 19 rows cut the yarn finish this hat so we have completed another hat if you want you can join the flowers flower in this hat also so it will be look like this so we have completed 19 rows and small borders small border with the little brim okay this is the overall design of the hat if you want you can attach the flower without flower it will look so nice so thank you very much hi guys today i am going to explain this beautiful hat and flower okay for this i am using h5mm hook and you can use any type of yarn okay so first i am going to make a slip knot make chain 4 1 2 3 4 slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring 
okay so we just formed a ring now so here we are going to make a double crochets chain 3 double crochet inside the ring so the chain 3 counters double crochet so to 11 double crochet we need to make plus chain 3 so totally 12 double crochet inside the ring okay so um, this is the third double crochet and then this is the fourth double crochet I counted uh, chain 3 as one double crochet okay now fifth double crochet sixth double crochet seventh double crochet eighth double crochet ninth double crochet tenth double crochet eleventh double crochet and twelfth double crochet okay so we have created 12 double crochets it count it and confirm now i am going to join with slip stitch to finish off this round okay now i am going to make a chain 3 double crochet in the same chain stitch and then two double crochet in the next stitch here we are next stitch we are going to make a two double crochet so every double crochet we are going to make two two double crochet every stitch okay so next stitch two double crochet so like this you have to continue for all the 12 double crochets so totally you will get 24 double crochets in this row okay so then two double crochet so you have to continue the same pattern till the end of this row okay two two double crochet in each stitch till here like this so i have completed okay now i am going to do last two double crochet now okay and then slip stitch to finish it off this round now chain 3 double crochet in the same stitch in the next stitch here you are going to make one double crochet then in the next stitch two double crochet so next stitch one double crochet so one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet so this is the pattern of this row okay so two double crochet and then one so at the end of this row you will get 36 double crochet okay so you just count it and confirm then two double crochet So continue this same pattern till this end of this row. So I have completed. Okay. Now I am going to make last double crochet here. Then slip stitch to join the third chain to finish it off this row. Now chain 3 double crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch you are going to make one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet okay and then two double crochet so in this round you are going to make two double crochet double crochet double crochet two double crochet double crochet double crochet this is the pattern okay now again one double crochet like this Two double crochet here and then double crochet double crochet and then two double crochet double crochet double crochet
2 double crochet so you have to continue the same till this end of this row and then i am going to finish it off this row here 2 double crochet right so now i am going to make a double crochet again one double crochet here slip stitch to finish it off this round third chain okay then chain 3 double crochet in the same stitch so 1 2 3 4 fifth round so this is the last increase round okay double crochet in the next stitch so we have done here so now we are going to make a double crochet and then double crochet in the next stitch so again one more double crochet here okay so double crochet in three stitches and then two double crochet in one stitch this is the pattern of the fifth row okay so double crochet in three stitches and then double crochet in one stitch so this is the pattern at the end you will get the 60 double crochet so this hat is a suit for three to six years old okay uh, you can check the description below description i have mentioned uh, hat base for all the sizes okay so um, double crochet in three stitches and two double crochet so i have completed three stitches double crochet now two double crochet here so you just continue the same pattern till here end of this row so i am going to finish it off the round two double crochet now double crochet one then double crochet two double crochet three now going to slip stitch two three third we're going to make a slip stitch to finish it off this round now we are going to working on the pattern okay increase round completed we have completed the increase round now chain 4 double crochet in the same stitch so this is the first V stitch okay now skip 2 stitches 1 2 in the third stitch make double crochet chain 1 double crochet and then skip 2 stitches double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the third, third stitch so you have to skip 2 2 stitches and make a V stitch in the every third stitch V stitch in the stitch double crochet chain 1 double crochet totally you will get 20 V stitches in this row okay like this you have to continue skipping 2 stitches make double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the third stitch so you have to continue the same pattern till this end of this row okay three how to continue like this till here so i'm going to finish it off this round now double crochet chain one double crochet now slip stitch here the third chain again one more slip stitch in the middle here now i'm going to changing the color of the yarn okay now chain 3 double crochet in the same space like this and then now chain 1 2 double crochet together you have to do like this so and then again insert the hook yarn over you will get 3 loops in the hook then pull the yarn okay this is the two double crochet together and then in the next space we are going to make like this two double crochet together and then chain one again two double crochet together like this okay and then in the next chain one space make two double crochet together without finishing the double crochet you have to make a double crochet together then chain one again two double crochet together so this is the pattern then two double crochet together now 
okay chain one then two double crochet together like this so you have to continue this same for every chain one space okay chain one and then two double crochet together and then two double crochet together chain one two double crochet together you just continue the same okay this is the design continue the same till this end of this row so i have completed now going to make a slip stitch by changing the yarn like this okay no need to uh, join the yarn you just take the yarn from the previous round like this okay then again slip stitch in the next space okay now chain 4 first we stitch right so chain 4 double crochet in the same space so first we stitch now in the second space here double crochet chain 1 double crochet so every space every chain 1 space you are going to make a double crochet chain 1 double crochet in this round okay chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet so you have to work like this every chain one space you are going to make double crochet chain one double crochet till the end of this row here so now I have completed going to make a slip stitch again one more slip stitch and at that time I am going to change the yarn like this okay just to take the yarn from the previous round chain 3 double crochet in the same space now chain 1 2 double crochet together you have to continue the same pattern to double crochet together okay and then in the next space two double crochet together chain one two double crochet together so at the end of the row you have to continue the same pattern at the till the end of this row two double crochet together chain one two double crochet together two double crochet together chain one two double crochet together so this is the pattern of this hat so i have clearly mentioned in the below description for the, all the sizes you can make this hat okay and the first to five round is there right so that i have clearly mentioned in the below description that is the hat base and this is the pattern you have to continue this same In one and then two double crochet together okay so you just continue the same pattern for nine rows totally okay we have completed four rows right so five more rows you need to complete okay like this the same alternatively we stitch double crochet together stitch so i have completed 14 rows totally one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine pattern rows okay and then previous five rows now slip stitch again one more slip stitch so i'm going to changing the color of the yarn okay like this and then chain three in the same space you are going to make a four double crochet one two 
थ्री चेन थ्री काउंटर्स वन डबल क्रोशे सो टोटली फाइव डबल क्रोशे ओके एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट वी स्टिच यू आर गोइंग टू मेक अ फाइव डबल क्रोशे सो यू आर गोइंग टू मेक अ फाइव डबल क्रोशेज इन एवरी वी स्टिच टिल दिस एंड ऑफ दिस रो ओके दिस इज दी बॉर्डर थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट वी स्टिच फाइव डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव देन द नेक्स्ट वी स्टिच फाइव डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके यू कंटिन्यू दि सेम okay it will be like this and then till here so i have completed see that will be like this okay now i am going to make a slip stitch to finish this round changing the color of the yarn then chain one now slip stitch then chain one single crochet in the next stitch so single crochet in the next stitch so you are going to make a single crochet in every stitch throughout the row single crochet 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 you just continue the same like this till here okay so i have completed and this is the flower i made so i have mentioned the below tutorial link of the flower in the below description you can refer the same okay so uh, you can make whatever flower you want okay if you want you can use any type of buttons like this okay now i am going to join the flower in the hat like this okay you just insert the needle from here to and then pull the needle like this you have to sew that's it okay the button and flower with the hat then again insert the needle in the hole with the hat and then pull the that's it okay so and then you can tighten the yarn okay this is a very simple pattern of flower and hat okay beginners can make it is very easily within a 2 hours you can complete this fat okay i have i've mentioned clearly for the all the sizes um in the description so you can refer and then the flower tutorial link also i have mentioned in the description so you can refer the same that's it thank you if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel okay
थैंक यू